Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you the new features that you get in ORCID X Presto. If you're not familiar, Cadence has come up with ORCID X and, you know, people were thinking maybe, oh, this is just another update. They haven't really changed anything, but no, there's actually a huge difference. So let me show you the differences between ORCID Standard, well, not ORCID Standard, but ORCID Professional, your typical user interface, and the new user interface, ORCID X Presto. Let's begin. So here we have, uh, here we typically have an overwhelming set of icons and menu options and everything that would just be too much, too much of a learning curve, too many options for new designers, you know, especially newbies. They're like, there's no way they're going to learn this tool intuitively or just pick it up. They need to be trained in this user preferences, you know, everything from your user preference and everything, all of your menu options, your paths being hidden in this like obscure folder options. Well, what Cadence has done in their new software is they put that in the, under edit preferences. And now you have your libraries, directories, and paths. Pretty cool. And then you also have your 3D defaults, right? Instead of a separate menu, a separate set of like menu items or options in your 3D where you have to go to view visibility and all this crazy stuff. In Presto, it's like right here, all right, your, your defaults. The next thing we have is your live doc. Okay, so, well, I'll get into live doc later. We're going to go and continue with our throughout preferences, but you do have your live doc preferences, and you definitely want to watch the more of the rest of this video so I can show you that live doc. There's some cool things they added in here. You have Symphony, which is Symphony. Well, this allows you to add comments to your board design for you and multiple users. And then you have your command window, your add connect options, you know, just your defaults and on auto display. Okay. Now let's see if there's anything else here. Here's another big thing, shortcuts and hotkeys. This is huge. In PCB editor, you have to like set your shortcuts and hotkeys in your environment variables. Okay, you need to go to your tools and environment variables right here. And look at this. Look at this. I mean, this is just like, what's going on here? Like, that's ridiculous. It's crazy. But in Presto, now you have this new clean user interface where you can just put in your, put in your shortcut. Okay. Put in your key thing. You modify some stuff. All right. Some of these you can't modify and that's okay, but at least they're there. And here's the big one for me, the big one, the rotate. They put the rotate in here. Okay. Thank goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm glad they finally did that. So the preferences menu has gotten a huge overhaul as opposed to your PCB design setup menu, which is in here. Look at this. Your design parameters design. Like it doesn't even fit on my, uh, you know, I'll just give up on that one. It doesn't even fit in there. Anyway, let's go into uh, the your other thing. So the preferences. Nice big change, especially with the shortcuts and the hotkeys. All right. So the next big thing are the panels. So if you go to view panels, um, properties, well, actually, let me show you. Let me show you the contrast. In PCB editor, right? If you go to like your, I don't even remember now, view windows, you have these ton of windows. You have your command, your world view, okay? Options, find visibility, design workflow. You can show all. And you have all these like, menus, some of them will pop up and minimized almost like squashed and you wouldn't even recognize that they're there. Like a lot of people don't recognize they need to command window, find window, and you have to click on these, all these different panels just to like, okay, filter to find stuff, global visibility for your layers. And then you have to like go into the, pay attention to command when you always have that open. Like, no, this is too much. But in Presto, you have your visibility panel. This has your 2D, 3D, okay, your shadow mode and all that stuff. This shadow mode and these opacities and everything, these were these are in the color wheel option, right? These are in the color wheel option in a visibility pane, okay? Instead of harvesting them sparsely, like all over the place, they put them, they combine a lot of these menus. I think they claim that this like 67 menu items or 67 menus that they put into just a few panels and you have your routing. You can do your groups, diff pairs, nets, 
and everything. Then you have your your stack up view. So really good job all in, that they put it all in one panel. Here you have your properties. Whereas you would typically define your properties in PCB editor from like a different set of menus. Here you just have this properties panel where you click on an object and it shows the properties. So looking pretty, you know, Altium-ish. <laughs> you know, I've got to say it, right? That's what we're thinking. If you use Altium at all, it's what you're thinking. I know what, I know what you're, anyway. And then, so this is what we got going on here. It has the unplaced components on router nets. It, I like that it shows you the status of your board, the properties of the board, your units, your, your width of the PCB and everything. Whereas in PCB editor, you need to set all that up in your design setup and your setup design parameters menu. Okay. So major godsend. Like I love this. All right. The next thing is the, let me see what other panels and views that we have here. Uh, if we go to panels, we have your search. So the search panel here is wonderful. You can click on any of these components, double click on the footprint, double click on the reference designator, and it'll take you straight there. It'll zoom in. It's much cleaner. It's more organized. You can group these based on traces, shapes, vias, groups, and everything. And the nets, I mean, that's fantastic, you know? Much easier to navigate. Like, thank God. All right. This is wonderful. Whereas before, you'd need to do this in your find, your find object filter, and then sort it by symbol, device, property. And then beyond that, you need to go click more, and then you get more options. See, the menu isn't, I don't even know if it's pulling up. Anyway, so this search feature i like it makes a navigation easy i must say uh finding things so then we have our other panels like quick help symphony so symphony allows you to looks like work with other like sync up designs and whatnot i'm not fully sure what symphony is about symphony is pretty much the team symphony is the team option or feature that allows you to work with other engineers in allegro that's my understanding of symphony in ORCAD Presto, I'm not sure if that's the same purpose or not, but probably. Then you have the ability to do comments here. So you can add comments to your PCB and, you know, say blah, 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 whatever. Wait, I'm not sure what I didn't type. Okay. And then submit my comment. I can make certain words bold, submit. Okay. And edit that. And, and I'll say I can place my comment there. Like, that's pretty cool. Right. So I like that. And you can also like archives and resolve comments. Now this feature is available in PCB editor, but I almost never pay to pay attention to it because like I'm so used to, and I'm so used to that not being there. And I'm like, it's saying markup edit. Like it gives these weird obscure errors still. Interestingly enough in ORCAD Presto, uh, ORCAD Expresso, I'm not worried too much about that. Like that doesn't happen. Okay, so those are the menu options, the panels. That's another big change there when it comes to the uh, ORCAD Presto environment. And you also have your analysis workflows. You can do an impedance workflow and a coupling workflow. You can select your nets and so on and so forth. I'll get into the details and the weeds later, but let's continue. You have your tools, your constraint manager. The constraint manager has stayed the same, okay? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that's a good philosophy right there, and they have not changed a thing. The constraint manager works pretty well, I must say. So, yeah. Now, it would be nice if they'd add images to these descriptions, like wiring. Like, come on now. Where are the images? Where are the pictures? But all in all, the constraint manager is very powerful. I trust it. So, there you go. Next, we have the cross section editor. That's the same material editor. And then you have markup. We're going to skip that. ECO. This is engineering change order. You have your update schematic, update PCB, quick place components. That's pretty cool. And it uses the search window or the search panel, rather, to do what it needs to do. So that's nice. Okay. Not too much craziness going on here in terms of changes. The, another big change is the export to manufacturing. This is phenomenal. I mean, this is like... If there's one thing 
that I'm sure PCB designers are happy about. It's being able to not have to go into your PCB editor, set up your artwork films and everything one by one for a new design anyway, and then do it all manually. Instead, it's done for you in terms of the layers, the colors, artwork from record PDFs. If you want to do that, you can generate those and it's just laid out for you. Just hit export, check mark what you want, hit export. That is, I think, the biggest change in ORCAD Expresso that uh, it's just, I mean, that's the biggest time saver. You also have your export placement. Yeah, that's your like pick and place file, essentially. Then you have, this is a new one. This is a new, another big new one in the manufacturing. Live Doc. Live Doc allows you to open your <clears throat> design into a live document. Okay. And boom. It's generated for you. This is phenomenal, phenomenal. So, you know, I must say, I must say Cadence has done a bang up job here with actually finally adding a document tool into, like embedding it into the PCB editor software. All right. As instead of keeping it as a separate tool, which it still is in your, in your regular PCB uh, or CAT 23.1 PCB editor. Okay, you can also delete the doc, make new ones. Then as far as reports, you can generate a ton of reports in the typical interface, but in this new ORCAT Presto, it keeps it down to the most common ones. Shape Islands report, let's see if you have any broken connections, unassigned shapes, missing teardrops, missing tapers report, dangling traces, vias, and antenna support. Okay, oh, then you have grids, you can turn grids on and off. There's also snapping. Another big thing is this menu. Check this out. Now, you know, there was a bit of a version of this, a very convenient one in PCB editor, but you'd have to go into the settings to uh, make it visible, which is just weird. I'm not sure why they wouldn't make that default. They finally made a default, and this is like your standard toolbar. Uh, like, you should find in another popular e uh, engineering software. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So now, yeah, these are pretty much all the big major changes. I want to show you one more cool thing that would be in the panels visibility where they took another page out of someone's book. I don't know who, um, and they click 3d and voila, here you go. I mean, look at this, look at this, this is wonderful. And I can do my bending now, here's the thing. The key difference is, and I'm going to close on this. The key difference is that this is actually the same board. If you try to close this, right, you're closing the whole design. You're just looking. This is the same design. It's not in a separate 3D view like this. Okay. It's actually the board itself. And that's wonderful. That's fantastic. Okay. You do orthographic perspective and then go back into 2D if you want. And then you have the properties panel, still the same board. So the properties panel isn't going to change. There is so much more to look into, like your DRC, your unplaced components, and everything. And I will do a tutorial series on using Cadence ORCAD Presto and Cadence ORCAD X in general. But all in all, you know, even though it's taken a long time, this is finally, finally, where the ORCAD PCB editor software is looking to be more enjoyable to use and intuitive to pick up than painful, all right? So eventually you're going to start seeing me doing more of my designs in and tutorials in ORCAD X. ORCAD PCB editor, still the more powerful, you know, user interface that allows you to get all of your options, you know, those little things you need to find. But Orgat Expresso is going to be, I think, 80% of what engineers are going to be using for PCB design and layout um, in the Cadence ecosystem. Okay. So if you had any hesitations about getting Orcad X or looking into it, try it out. If you're in Orcad ecosystem or the Cadence ecosystem, you will not be disappointed. And uh, I think you'll be happy with it. Let me know if you have any uh, 
comments, thoughts, questions, concerns, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know the deal. And reach out to me and ask your questions. Let us know your thoughts. What do you think? How does, what do you think about it uh, compared to Altium? What do you, thoughts? do you think they just copied Altium? It kind of looks like it. Or they're using their own philosophy and uh, like Autodesk. This is not new, quite honestly. This is not different from like what Autodesk does with their software. Uh, it's just that Cadence has finally picked up the ball here. And I'm glad they did. All right. Great work. I'm going to be, uh, I'll hit you up with some, uh, I'll hit you up next time. I don't know what to say. Uh, see ya. Bye.